Okay, so the next object that we are going to export to Excel is mText. Before we start with our coding, let's just have a high level understanding of our requirement. So with our AutoCAD drawing here, we need to export that to Excel file. So these are the attributes or the properties that we are going to export the insertion point x and y coordinate, the layer, the width, the height, the style, and the text string itself, and the attachment point. And this is our flowchart. So same thing with the line object. All we need is to select all mText objects. And if there is an mText, then proceed with the extraction process. Otherwise, just display message and exit the program saying that there is no mText found. So if there are mTeX in the drawing, then we have to loop through the selection set. Then we have to extract the properties of mTeX one at a time. And we have to uh, write it into an Excel spreadsheet. So again, these are the properties, the insertion point, X and Y coordinates, layer, height, style, text, and the attachment point. If you are not familiar with the attachment point, this is actually an integer value that uh, corresponds to the alignment, whether it's in the bottom left or top left or top center or top middle or uh, bottom right or top right, something like that. So these are the values here. It's an integer value. You will see that when we do the importing later on. So this is a very high level uh, overview of our next task. So in the next video, we're going to start creating our program. I'll see you there. Welcome back. Now that we have a good understanding of the mTeX properties that we're going to extract into Excel, we can start developing our method. So let's start from the user interface again. So open up your Excel util form here, and then we can add another button for the mTeX. What we can do instead of getting from these controls toolbox here we can just copy the existing button here control c and control v so that we we maintain or we we keep all the the property settings all we have to do now is change the the text so instead of export lines we say export and text and then change the name to btn export mText. Okay, so if we check the code behind, we only have the BTN export lines click event. Now, if we double click on our mText, it gives us this uh, button export mText click event handler. Before we start coding this method here, let us go back. To, let us go back to the export Excel util and uh, write our export mtex uh, method here. So instead of us going through this again, we can just copy this existing line of codes here, this method. Then we will just change some of the information uh, here, let's say for the line, we will replace it with all the properties for the mText. But at least we now have a code uh, structure that is almost the same uh, structure as the mText. So let's just copy this method, Control C and then Control V. Now let's just change this to export mText. So let's change the comment here. 
gather all mtex in a selection set. So now, instead of passing a line parameter, we'll have to pass in the mtex. So this is the good thing if we have a common method that can be used by many other objects. So if we go back to the common util method first, just for us to have a quick look on this method, all we need to do is pass in the object type. And this method will select all those objects accordingly and return as a selection set. Okay. So this will be very, very helpful for us. Just one method and then it gives us uh, the result dynamically based on the parameter that we are going to pass. So in this case, just pass the M text. And then the message here, if there is no M text found, then just say no M text found in the drawing. And again, for the Excel worksheet, all we have to do now is just change the worksheet name. This is just an this is just optional, but let's just make it consistent so that the worksheet that we are processing is named properly according to the object type that we are extracting. Okay, so now for the headers, what do we need for the M text? So the first one is the insertion point X coordinate. So insertion point X. The second column will be insertion point Y. The third column will be the layer the fourth column will be the, the width and the fifth column will be the height the sixth column will be the style and the seventh column will be the, the text string itself and we need one more which is the attachment point so let's call that as attachment point. Attachment point means this is the alignment, whether it is a bottom left or top left or top center or bottom right or top right. So those things, but this is an integer value, okay? So now we can loop through the mText selection set. So let's just change this to mText to be consistent and we have a transaction here again we are looping for each object in our selection set but instead of line we need to cast the entity as an m text object so let's create uh, create a variable called mtx as m text okay and this one should be m text All right, so now we are going to extract these properties here. So according to the header, the first one is mtx.location. This is the insertion point, the location.x. Okay, and the second column is mtx.location.y coordinate. And the third one is the layer. So mtx.layer, and the fourth one is mtx.width, and next one is the height, mtx. This is the text height, okay? And now the next one is the style. So mtx.text style name, this one. And the next one is the text string itself. So mtx dot content. That is the contents. Okay. So for mtx, it's the contents. And we need one more, which is the attachment points. So let's just copy this line here and paste it here. This will be h column, and it will be the attachment. All right, so now we have a complete numbers of columns, A, B, C, D, up to H. 
which is similar to the headers. So we're good. And of course, we have to increment the row number every time we do an iteration. And here, if there is no error, it says successfully extracted mtext to, let's just make this capital, to Excel. Otherwise, if there is an error, just display the error message. And then at the bottom, return the result. So let us save this method, this file. And now we can go back to the user interface and call this uh, method here, okay? So let's go back to the form. And now if we double click again, we can call now the Excel util that export mtext. So we can just copy this code here. And instead of export lines, it should be export mtext. And that's it. We have here to display the result in the label control. So let us save our code and do a rebuild. Okay, now let us open our AutoCAD drawing. Okay, so let us load our plugin. Let load. This is our plugin here. Click on always load. Before we run our code, let us examine the end text first. So list. We have here is an end text object. We have the style as standard. We have the location x and y. We have the width. We have the text height, which is nine. We have the attachment, which is top center. So this is the one I was mentioning earlier. And this is the content. So if let's say we would like to move this and grab the, the insertion point, it's showing that it's at the top center. Okay. So now we can run our plugin. So show Excel util form. Okay, and click on export and text. It should open up the Excel for us. It says successfully extracted and text to Excel. Let's see this one here. There you go. So we have the insertion point x insertion point y we have the layer we have the width the height the style the text and the attachment point is equivalent to two this is the top center attachment point and these are all the text strings okay now we can save this into the folder whatever folder you want let me just save this as m text and save it all right, so that's it for this uh, video. In the next video, we're going to extract the polylines. I'll see you there.